The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Good morning. We are having a terrific Tuesday here at... 91.1 91.1 KNLY, your favorite fusion radio station. I'm Orlando Daniels, and sitting in on today's entrepreneur, it's a great opportunity to interview these special young ladies, all because I am not familiar with what they actually do. Um, the, the, they're actually out of Conroe, Conroe Roller Derby. Wonderful people. I want to let them introduce themselves, but I want to I, I want to get right into the question. So as soon as you introduce yourself, yourself, I want you to come on and tell us a little bit about all that you all do, all the upcoming events that you have. But I have with me Jackie Evans. They call her Foxy. Actually, I met Foxy at um, <laughs> yes uh, um, Chamber of Commerce event for the yes. Woodlands. And she actually is an advocate with young ladies. So I'm going to let her tell all her stuff. But <laughs> tell them, introduce yourself. I'm Jackie. I go by Foxy. Um, it's Foxy Jaminator, but they call me Foxy. We shorten everybody's name pretty okay. much. I'm. My name's Michelle. I go by Tasmania. We shorten it to Taz. Okay, tell us why they call you Tasmania. We all Ooh. get to pick our own derby names. Okay. And I like the Tasmanian devil. He just kind of caused destruction wherever he goes, and I like it. Okay, so. Foxy, come on. She is so true to that. <laughs> she is so true to that. Okay, so why do they call you Foxy? Um, actually a friend of mine, uh, she helped me pick my name. I was, I wasn't sure what name to come up with and that was it. She was like, Foxy. I was like, oh, all right. Okay. And then we just added Jaminator to it. <laughs> but, uh, they were like, why do you, you, your name is Foxy Jaminator, but you don't like to jam. I was like, you got that right, but I'll do it if I have to. <laughs> she's a great jammer. She's, she's a great, great jammer. jammer. Oh, yeah, okay. Great. So <laughs> let, let's talk about it because when we, we think about the, the actual sport of roller derby, um, when I grew up, I grew up watching it, um, long time ago. And so it has now become an actual sport all over again. Yes. Um, but it's physical. I mean, really physical. Yes. How do two beautiful ladies get into <laughs> roller derby? Um, I started in 2014. I actually went to the skating rink, and I, we just went there for a family outing. We were skating, and one of the girls that used to be on the team, she came up to me and she said, you should come try roller derby. I was like, wait, what? What is that? <laughs> wait, what do you mean? And uh, she said, we practice tomorrow. We start at five. We'll get you some gear. We'll get you everything you need until you get your own if you like it. And so I went to my first practice, and I've I've been involved ever since. Wow! I couldn't leave it. Now I understand that you are the 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 head person, correct? Oh no, that's Foxy. The, you're the fat head <laughs> that's person. That's Foxy. Okay, so I got I got when I got the information. Um, so we're gonna have to get Whitney because I, I Ooh, yeah we're gonna get her because I, I like to be up on my stuff. So so how did you get involved? And then also, what are some of the hardest hits you've ever had? Oh wow, <laughs> so many. Um, so I got involved. I, I have a skating background. I grew up speed skating, and then skates went in the attic for 25 years. And I was teaching my daughter how to skate for her. She wanted to have a skating party, and I got recruited at that rink that I used to speed skate for. I got recruited at that rink to play. And that's how I got started, and that was eight years ago. You know, I've asked questions to boxers, you know, um, especially, you know, Fearless Boxing Gym. I ask questions all the time, you know, I interact with them. And one of the questions I ask is, how long does it take to recover after an actual match? Well, it depends on the person. Okay. Um, because it could, it could vary for different people. It, depend, it depends on how hard you play, um, how, I mean, how pretty much athletic you are. Um, if you don't give a lot, then you'll, you'll, be, fine. you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine the next day. But you have some that they give a lot. They give a lot. And their recovery process the next day is semi to nothing. <laughs> wow. I'm starting to feel so, better today. Yeah. We, well, we played I mean, Saturday. I, I haven't felt anything from this past weekend. We had a game this past weekend. And, uh, I mean, because I get I'm up and 
I, I got to keep moving. So there's no, I don't have time for recovery. I just next day. <laughs> okay, so so here here's here's a question, because I I understand the um, the stamina. It, it just requires being athletic, okay. or if not, it's got to be one of those sports that actually gets you in shape, gets you oh, healthy. Yes. It it burns some calories. Tell me the overall, or tell the listeners the overall benefits that you've experienced not just the fun part but the health part because i'm certain for those who want to get into skating may be curious about roller derby derby having that on the side because it's most people who do things of this nature have a nine to five and then mm -hmm. like for example foxy you work yes. with teen girls and 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 you're an advocate in in that area but how do you go from uh, and, and all I can think about is, you know, you go to work and you got your lowest lanes on and then you, <laughs> yes. you come out and you're somebody <laughs> totally different. You got it's just like two different people. I'm, I'm certain on the nine to five, you're one way. And when you're on the on on the roller rink, you're just a beast. Yeah. Yes. We Yeah. It's, it's completely different when you're at work because you have a lot of our girls are. Some are bankers, some are some work in lawyer office, some are <laughs> vets and everything. Everything. Wow. It's, yeah. a, it's a number of things and you wouldn't you wouldn't think that they're in that profession yeah. and they're out there on that track. But you're like oh, Outside man. loves. You yes. never know what someone yes. else Yes, yes. That that is that is amazing. Um, but I still want to hear some of the overall benefits of skating for, for those who may be interested, getting involved. Uh, what could they expect? some changes within getting on the skates, you know, becoming repetition. We know anything that we do repetitionally, you know, bring the desired results. But how, if someone is seriously interested outside of the fun part, I'm certain there are people who want to see the health benefits of it. So could you share some of that? It's, it's very physical, but it can be what you want. Like we have different levels of skaters on our league. There's some that just, I mean, it's, it's a great form of exercise. I Like I said, I grew up skating. It's a I've, I've done it my whole life basically it's just a great form of exercise um, and it's a fun way to exercise it's not just going to the gym pumping weight and you know getting your cardio you're getting your cardio in you're socializing you're making relationships and then you're hitting each other but I mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun I mean I've I've you asked me about hits and stuff like that there's been different injuries through the years and I every time I go to a, one of my doctor's appointments to hear the results or what's happening I keep thinking they're going to be telling me you may want to like consider hanging this up and he's like no I think it's doing more benefit than it is harm you're fine I'm like okay cool back okay. on the track so <laughs> it's just it's, it, it helps you it helps tone you up it helps you know get your endurance like yes. I said it's just it's just a great way to exercise and one of my favorite movies um, is is Waterboy and I don't know if you're familiar <laughs> with Waterboy yes. but he would put the head of somebody he would imagine the head of somebody being on somebody else if you ever seen the movie yeah he anybody that has done him wrong he yeah. just you know he oh, just, yeah. and he just goes eight like literally yeah. he loses it so I'm just thinking about do you literally put like somebody's head on somebody else's shoulder on your opponent's shoulder and say you know what I'm getting ready to run you into the side of this ring or or, or do you take that aggression out because if you're mad yeah, I know you're married so in having that aggression do you get out there so you know what do you do that? No, it's <laughs> um, well, it's like we're a family. Okay. We're family. So we're more like sisters than we are like friends. Wow. And okay. so um, when we're out there, it's like me protecting a sister. Okay. So if I see somebody go out there and, you know, they hurt my tags here, you know, it's it's it, on. It, it's on. <laughs> really, it's, it's on. on. You yeah. know, I'm like, I, I don't like that. You know, I can I can pick on my siblings, but you cannot. That's that's me. That's yeah. that that's that that's, that's that that family love for real. Yes, yeah, you yes. can. We can do each other, but you can't. That's, that's right. right. That's how that you is cover each other. Absolutely right. That's how you cover each other. So X mark the spot. The moment somebody do one of the team players wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. that's we, it. We will that's all it. have your number. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I had this conversation this morning um, in our focus meeting. That was part of the reason I was delayed coming up and and my wonderful tech man Ivan who just loves me dearly <laughs> that came and got me uh, he is he is our um, he's our superhero of the station him and Carlos okay. but here, here here's the thing that we talked about downstairs was uh, we have a morning show and um, Travis and Sydney are over the morning show 
um, but we have some wonderful staff. And I just said, you know, maybe intermission, since I'm going to be helping you all out on the Ju July 28th, you all have a wonderful event coming up. Maybe we can do intermission where, you know, 91.1. Put some skates on. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, yeah. I see what we can do with y'all out there. Okay. What you think? I love it. I, huh? Sounds good to me. I, I think I, this, that's the challenge right there. I got. Some, yeah, let me get oh, to see so how it's we a yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we like those. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just, like those. You know, just a few minutes on the skates. <laughs> just a few. This guy got side nerve issues, <laughs> and I got I got to still work. But I, I think that'll just be be something that we can okay. create. Get some sponsors involved. See if we can yes. donate yeah. something somewhere. Well. Raise yeah. some money for something. I'm, I'm I'm certain there's some things coming up that we can help and and make this a good event. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so who wants to share um, you all's event um, coming up July 28th? Um, July 28th is our it's a home game. We play Gulf Coast Roller Girls. Um, it starts at 6:30. Doors open at six. Um, we have a halftime show. Um, some little dancers are coming in for halftime. We have a DJ. We have a, a lot of vendors coming out. Um, but it's our vendors, they're always different. So it's, we can have anywhere from five to more. Um, but like I said, it starts at 6.30. Doors open at 6. If you want a good seat, you got to get there at 6 o'clock. Got to get there at 6. Yeah. Uh, one thing about we love to skate we love to play we love the sport but we are a 501c3 yes. um, we have a charity of the month that we choose that we donate to every month and for every home game we choose a charity and that is our charity that we're honoring that month so um, it's it's good for your it's good for our body good for our hearts good for our souls you know it helps yes. everybody it gives everybody the opportunity to help as well to help our community Hey, great. Sounds like a great thing. Listen, I, I want to encourage those who are listening and, and following along to come out. Conroe, Montgomery County, um, if you're in the district, you're in the area, come on out. Bring the family. Have a different experience. I will be out there. I was sitting here. I was like, is she going to ever say, and you, we're going to have you out there. Yes. So I'm going to be out well, there um, hosting <laughs> and, and broadcasting live and, and doing my part. So come on out. Have a great time. Celebrate. Um, hope there's going to be a lot of food, right? Because I like to eat. There will be food. And we do a potluck afterwards. We, all of our teammates, we all cook. And, wow. you know, we, I mean, like we I said, we're family. To stay and we invite everybody oh, to listen, stay. And I'm, you ain't, ain't, listen, I'm, you ain't got anybody. <laughs> I'm, st I'm staying. Listen, um, Fearless Boxing Gym, if you're watching, I want you all to come out and support. If you are in the Conroe and Montgomery area, come out and support this event. Uh, I try to connect people so that we understand the overall dynamic of support and, yes. and networking and, and, and everything is not about a dollar. It's That's about right. just being family and being, being supportive of one another um, and, and not just hashtag liking. We That's just right. got to really be there and show up. So glad that you were able to be a part of um, today's entrepreneur. Um, is you. there anything that you all would like to share in reference to social media sites, phone numbers? How can somebody get in contact? Who's the contact person they want to come get they can in? Contact any one of us on Facebook. Our Facebook is Conroe Roller Derby, um, and then we have Conroe Cutthroats. Uh, please like our page, share our page. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at info at Um If you have, if you want to become a sponsor, we have fundraising at ConroRollerDerby.com. So just get in touch with our info page. And We're always we looking a, for new skaters yes. too. So if you want to come join the team, try out the team, we'd love to have you. Listen, I don't know how we're going to put this together. If you heard me make the challenge, we're going to live <laughs> we up to it. it. Listen, we, we going to, Ivan, you got me covered? <laughs> <laughs> My tech man like, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, no, nah. No, nah. You, you, you own this one on your own. <laughs> Listen, 91.1, the boss, the family, if you're listening, I done put the challenge out there. Sydney, Travis. Andrea, Angie, y'all get ready. I'm going, I'm going, I got pump pumps and, and I'm going to cheer y'all on. But I'm going to be there. Listen, thank you once again for tuning in to today's Entrepreneur. This is CRD, Conroe yes. Roller Derby. Yes. You all get in contact, follow along, make this a big event. Come on out and share with us. I'm Orlando Daniels and you have been listening to today's Entrepreneur, KNLY 91.1, The Boss.